Call to order Health, Education and Welfare Committee agenda, October 13th, 2021. The time is now 2 p.m. I'd like to ask uh, Representative Marshall to please give the invocation. Chair, she's not on there. Representative Jennings, will you please give the invocation? Thank you, Chairman. Let us pray. Our grace, Heavenly Father, we come to you in prayer this afternoon, asking for your guidance and direction as we conduct the business of the nation. Father, I ask that you would continue to be with the leaders of our nation. Father, I ask you to be with those that are sick, those that are taking care of them. Father, we ask all things in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 We'll call Tracy Wade. Mary Crawford. Present. Joyce Deer. Present. James Jennings. Here. Anna Marshall. Lucian Tiger. Present. Chairman, you have four present and one absent. Four present, one absent constitutes a quorum. All business conducted will be official. Next item on the agenda be the approval of minutes from 9-15-21. Chairman, I make a motion to approve the minutes with any necessary changes. Representative Crawford made a motion to approve the minutes with any necessary changes. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Representative Deer. Deer. Discussion. Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Deer? Yes. James Jennings? Yes. Anna Marshall? Chairman, you have three in favor and zero against. Three in favor, zero against. That motion passed. Next item on the agenda will be the order of business. TR 21-133, a tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizes the principal chief to execute the Victims of Crimes Act certified assurances associated with the District Attorney's Council 2021 Victims of Crime Act grant funds for the Muscogee Creek Nation Family Violence Prevention Program. Sponsored Representative Deer. Chairman, our motion do pass. President Deere made a motion for a do pass. Second. Second. Second by Representative Jennings. Discussion. Representative Deer. Is Sean Ms. Partridge on the line? Sean Partridge. Yes, yes. Hello, Chairman. This is Sean Partridge. Um, Hi, yes. Partridge, so you speak to this? Thank you. Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Wanted to make sure. Um, thank you. Yes. So the VOCA grant is a grant that our program has had in place since 2015, um, which was recently awarded. And I believe with planning and grants and communicating with Mr. Dellinger and the Attorney General's office, um, due to some slight changes in the certifications and assurances, they recommended it uh, be putting forth um, to National Council for approval. So I know that Mr. Dellinger is on the line. So if there's any additional questions regarding those specific changes, I'm sure that he could answer that, but I'm happy to answer any other questions. Any questions on committee for Ms. Partridge? Any questions from council on the line for Ms. Partridge? Representative Deer? Yes, sir. Any further no questions? questions? Thank no, you, Representative Deer. You. Roll call vote, please. Joyce Deer? Yes. James James? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Chairman, you have three in favor and zero against. Three in favor, zero against. That motion passed. The next item on the agenda is TR 21-134. A tribal resolution of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizes the principal chief to execute the Victims of Crime Act certified assurances associated with the District Attorney's Council 2021 Victims of Crime Act grant funds for the Muscogee Creek Nation Sexual Assault Nurse Examiner Program. Sponsors Representative Marshall.
Is Representative Marshall show back up on the line, Ms. Wade? Um, she might have just now came on there. Representative Marshall. No, that's not Anna. She's not on there. She had tried to call this, so I don't know if she's having trouble logging on or not. She's trying to log in. Oh, April says she's trying to log in. That's her. Anna, can you hear us? Yes, I'm here. Representative Marshall, we're on TR yeah. 21 134. Okay. Entertain a motion for due pass, please. Um, I, I make a motion for due pass. Representative Marshall made a motion for due pass. Is there a second? Second. Second, Representative Jennings. Discussion. Representative Marshall, we're on 21 134. Uh, is there anyone there from the uh, district, uh, well, from the uh, attorney general's office, or is it from the health department, I mean, from the health division, since it's a, a position for a sexual assault nurse? Mr. Dellinger? Mr. Chair, this is, uh, yeah, Kevin Dellinger. I'm, I'm here on behalf of the uh, AG's office. Uh, this is, uh, I think I can speak to this. It's, a, it's very similar to the previous piece of legislation. The, uh, the agreement that has to be, um, it appears there's this new agreement that needs to be uh, executed uh, on the award notice, and that has not been done, had, that, that did not have to be done in the past, and it is a, uh, an agreement with the federal agency, so that's why we're bringing it to the council. There aren't any issues with the uh, award notice or anything, it's just that uh, the fact that it's with a, uh, uh, an agreement between the nation, the federal government, the Constitution requires it to be approved by the council. So that's why uh, the legislation is being uh, presented to the uh, council. Thank you, Mr. Dellinger. Mr. Marshall, any questions for Mr. Dellinger? Uh, no. Questions from the committee for Mr. Dellinger? Questions from council on the line for Mr. Dellinger? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. Anna Marshall? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Deer? Yes. James Jennings? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. That motion passed. Next item on the agenda, NCA 21-106. <clears throat> A law of the Muscogee Creek Nation amending MCNCA Title 37, subsection 3-301, entitled Information to be Provided to Exempt All Department of Health Personnel from Public Reporting Requirements Regarding Compensation. Sponsors, Representative Marshall. Motion for due pass. Representative Marshall made a motion for due pass. Is there a second? Chairman, I'll, I'll make a motion. I'll second it for discussion. President Jennings, second for discussion. <laughs> Representative Marshall? Uh, yes. Uh, is Mr. Terry or someone online that can address this? Uh, because we're basically saying that everybody else is subject to listing their um, salaries, but for some reason, the Division of Health is asking for an exemption. Secretary Terry. Thank you, Chairman. And um, I understand the uh, hesitancy about asking for this exemption. Um, I know that it's the law of the uh, nation to provide this information to the public. 
However, what we have started experiencing, especially during the COVID pandemic, is that there has been a tremendous shortage of nurses, a shortage of lab personnel, and a shortage of other specialties that's in this field. And we are starting to experience that um, our competitors are starting to use this information that they can gather publicly to find out what our people are making and, and, uh, and can outbid us. And so uh, that is the consideration that uh, we're going to be uh, having to try to contend with. So um, that's, that's the purpose of this request. I'd be happy to answer questions if uh, I can expand expound further on. Mr. Chair. Yes. Uh, uh, this is this is Representative Marshall. Um, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, Mr. Terry, uh, how do the employees feel about this piece of legislation? Um, I haven't asked them. Uh, honestly, I haven't done any polling around it. Um, I think that, uh, I mean, I've never had any employee feel good about some, about us posting their, what they make on, uh, out in the newspaper. Uh, I think it is only listed by position, uh, now, but, um, we, we honestly, we didn't ask. We, this was, this was really just intended, uh, as, we, we, we don't want our competitors picking off our employee, being able to go offer them more money. And so um, that's probably not a okay. great answer, but that's, that's the best I have. Okay, thank you, Mr. Terry. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Representative Marshall. Any questions from Mr. Terry from the committee? Chairman James Jennings. Representative Jennings. Mr. Terry, you know, as you're aware of, we, we haven't seen the budget. We, we don't know what, who makes what either. But, you know, according to this legislation, it's July 31st of each year that this is published. And so we have other employees don't appreciate their salaries being uh, posted either. And, and so, I'm at the point whether we uh, exempt the health or repeal the whole bill. And so, with that being said, I think that uh, I would be more in favor of postponing this and, and getting some more input from other departments. And uh, so, really, it won't be published until July 31st of 2022 according to the legislation. So we have time to look this over. I, well, I think that's right, Mr. Jennings. And that was, uh, that's why we waited until after last year's report was already published. We didn't want to see this as we were trying to uh, beat, beat the legislation and the intent of the law. Uh, so we, we waited until last year or this year's last last fiscal year's report was already published. So uh, I appreciate that and I, I can understand that uh, as well. So thank you for that. Chairman. President Jennings. Yes, sir. So uh, I, I just have a question on, on repeating it. So uh, I, I would make a motion that we postpone until next month's meeting anyway. To maybe we will have seen some of the budget and, and, and know what we're talking about also. Reverend Jennings made a motion to postpone NCA 21-106 
until November 10th meeting. Is there a second? I'll second. Governor Marshall, second. Discussion. Any discussion on the motion to postpone until November 10th meeting? Hearing none, roll call vote, please. James Jennings? Yes. Anna Marshall? Yes. Mary Crawford? Yes. Joyce Deer? Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. NCA 21 106 is postponed until November 10th meeting. Next item on the agenda is NCA 21 107. A law of the Muscogee Creek Nation authorizing expenditure of grant funds awarded from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Substance Abuse, and Mental Health Services Administration <coughs> for medication assisted treatment prescription drug and opioid addiction. Sponsors, Representative Deer. Chairman, motion to adopt. Representative Deer made a motion to uh, do pass. Crawford, second. Representative Crawford, second. Discussion. Representative Deer. Mr. Terry, would you speak on this legislation, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Ms. Deer. And, um, so we have received a million fifty thousand in um, uh, opioid addiction funds, and so this will just be uh, used with all of our uh, TOR and um, treatment. So I'm happy to answer any questions over it if you have any. Questions for Secretary Terry from the committee. I have one question, sir. Representative Deer. Is there anything specific that this money is going to be the, the priority, something specific that this is going to be uh, used for? So there's, there's a, a, a little of this money, I believe, is used in a couple of uh, clinical staffing, like an MA. I believe, Ms. Deer, and then the vast majority of it goes to um, addiction medications. So Suboxone, Naloxone, and uh, a little bit for uh, detox, but uh, that's the vast majority of it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Representative Deer. Questions from council on the line for Secretary Terry? Hearing number roll call vote, please. Joyce Deer. Yes. James James. Yes. Anna Marshall. Yes. Mary Crawford. Yes. Chairman, you have four in favor and zero against. Four in favor, zero against. That motion passed. Next item on the agenda. The other business. We have discussion, Department of Health update, Secretary of Health, uh, Sean Terry. This time I'd like to entertain a motion to go into executive session, please. So moved. Representative Jennings made a motion to go into executive session. Second. Second by Representative Deer. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. We're in executive session at 219. Secretary Terry, do you have anything you'd like to add? No, Chairman, um, I would say that Council Oak has been going extremely well. We had our first um, neurology clinic today here on site. And so Dr. Thinkachan with Regional Brain Institute uh, held his post-COVID clinic today. So uh, that's gone. Uh, extremely well. We're looking at, we're going to be breaking the thousand patients uh, for the monoclonal antibody infusion uh, here in the very near future. So we're excited about that. Um, so Council Oak has been progressing uh, ni nicely. Uh, we also had our 120 day uh, until we go live with uh, Epic, our new electronic medical record. 
So that's exciting. So, but with the written report, the written financials, uh, that that'll conclude my report. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Terry. Next on the agenda, the announcements. We have any announcements from the committee? Any announcements from council on the line? I'm sorry, was that Representative Deer? Yes, sir. I had a question for Mr. Terry. Yes, Representative Deer. Secretary Terry, you still on the line? I am. Representative Deer. Mr. Terry, do you have any, I'm sorry. Mr. Terry, do you have any more of an update on the boosters? So, um, for COVID. yeah, so the, we are giving boosters um, for the Pfizer vaccine if you uh, ha are uh, over the age of 12, I believe, and uh, it's been longer than six months. Uh, most people fit into a category of being able to receive a booster. Um, the Moderna vaccine, there is still no federal uh, authorization for a booster dose of Moderna. So we're, uh, we're still uh, waiting on that to happen. We have been giving and attending uh, vaccination clinics all throughout the nation. Uh, we're gonna be attending all the ARPA uh, community meetings. We'll be uh, attending elderly nutrition events and we're uh, giving both the uh, flu vaccine and the booster shots and first doses if people need them while we're out at these events. But um, that's all of the what we're doing right now. But unfortunately, there has been no uh, new news on uh, Moderna yet. Okay, thank you. Also, can you give us a status on the Sepulpa Clinic? Um, could you, uh, I'm not sure what, what, what you're referring to, ma'am. Are they moving into a new building or is there some uh, change in Sepulpa? No, not, no, not, not that I'm aware of. We, you know, we have added, uh, we have added, uh, some space at Sepulpa where we've gone out and rented additional space, uh, down there. Uh, we've looked at property uh, in Sepulpa so that when we do build a new facility that uh, we would have a piece of property located. Uh, we built uh, the POR and the PJD, which is the Program of Requirements and Program Justification document. That's the template that Indian Health Service uses to build those facilities. We've completed those documents but we don't have any approved uh, project for uh, Sepulpa at this time. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chair. Thank you, Representative Deer. Do we have any other announcements from the committee? Any announcements from council on the line? Hearing none, entertain a motion to adjourn. So no move. Representative Jennings made a motion to adjourn. Second by Representative Marshall. All in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Aye. All opposed, same sign. I'd like to ask Representative Marshall to please give the benediction. Let us pray. Creator God, we just thank you for this opportunity of coming together to discuss the, the business of a nation and to um, try to keep ourselves on track. And we just ask that you continue to bless all of our citizens and bless our employees and bless the council and all those who, who we come in contact with, uh, with us. We just ask that you continue to just lead and guide us in all the things that we do and say. And we just ask that you continue to bless each one of us with good health, um, to be grateful and to have a heart of gratitude. And we just ask all these things in your name. Amen. 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 Meeting adjourned 249.